Hi all, it's Rach from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Libra. Now this will be for August 2024. Welcome if you're new to my channel or if you've been here before. Um, this will be a general read, so take the bits that resonate, leave the bits that don't. We'll do some Oracle and then we'll do some Tarot. Take, um, remember that uh, time can be fluid and energy can be vice versa. Alright, let's see what we've got for Libra for August. Okay. So it talks about, oh, hold on, let me just grab that one. You've got just the present moment count. So that talks about, you know, don't try and look into the future, don't look at the past. Really, all that matters is where you're at right now what you're going through right now um <clears throat> i feel like there might be some people that you possibly are around that maybe you shouldn't be maybe they're like a bad company um but you would rather hang out with them than be alone There's also about getting fresh air and some some time in nature. Um, that always sort of lifts your vibration, I guess. makes you it makes you feel better. It's like you know when you go outside and go for a walk, it just makes you feel yeah, makes you feel good. Um. I feel like things are happening or will start happening, but they're going to happen real slow. And by something, I feel like it's more like you starting to feel better in yourself, better in your heart, better. In the end, you need to do things that make you feel good. And if it means like dancing like this little kid, then that's what you need to do. Even if you have to get dressed up and, you know, like when we were young, you know, we would get all, you know, we would do like dress ups. And, you know, we had a ball, you know, you make it what it is, right? So it's like, think back to those times. Do, do things that make you feel good because... You know, obviously, if you're in a really down place, that would, whatever you choose to do that you enjoy, if it means dancing around in your undies dressed as whoever, then do it. You know what I mean? Like, but it's telling you that everything will be fine. Just relax. So you might be, you might be either drinking a lot or partying a lot. And I don't know whether you've like. You've tried to write something or you've tried to type something, send a message, whatever, right? Send an email, send a message on social media, whatever. It's like whatever you, 
whatever you've tried to do, it's like you doubt. So you're like, should I delete it? Should I send it? Should I not? Should I, you know, like... So there's somebody you would like to message. You're thinking back about the past a lot because, as I said, memories comfort us. So this can be a parent you might be thinking about or somebody like that in your family maybe that's past. Um, whatever this is, past relationship for you, past whatever it does comfort us to think back but you've got to be careful that you don't get in a really bad place where you just you know close your curtains close your eyes sleep your life away you know feeling all depressed I feel like you're, I don't know whether you're afraid about what else, like what else can go wrong? What else am I going to lose? Yeah, I'm not okay. I figured that much. Um... Yeah, just from the cards that tell me that you're thinking back about the past, um, who you've lost, you know, you're closing the curtains to sleep, like, relax, everything is fine, you know, um, you need to take care of yourself. So it looks like you've been in a in a down place. And you possibly are in a down place. But you need to make sure you look after you. And you feel like you keep repeating the same thing over and over. It's like the records on repeat. I feel like you need to change your percep your perception and realize how lucky you are. Like, you know, you're not a trapped animal in a cage having God knows what done to them. You're not sick and dying. You know, you're not like starving and homeless and, you know, whatever. Like, you're lucky. You need to be more grateful for the things that you have. Yeah, we all go down, we all have down times, but at the same time, you you can't stay there. Um, I feel like you've had incidences in your life where you think, you know, awesome like you know this is happening and from you know this is like a gift that I've gotten from the universe or whatever to then find out it's a snake you need to take back your own power like somebody somebody here has people in their lives that like to control them whether it's money food whatever You feel like 
the the dies cast like you feel like well this is what i've got for my life it is what it is you know i always get the it's like negative negative mindset like it's it's like you know i always get crap or i always get you know something in my life i always end up hurt everyone leaves me you know like poor me victim mentality um you need to realize though like you can do it like you know you're you you're, you're unique you know like you have things about you that no one else has and that's they're you you know, like you have talents and abilities that I don't have and I have talents and abilities that you don't have. So it's, yeah, so I feel like it's realising, it's realising that. Um, you need to... You're definitely not, you know... Maybe you were partying a lot. Maybe you're not so much now. Um, I feel like you could have been the one, you know, if you go out at the moment. I don't even feel like... I don't even feel like you really want to go out. But if, you know, if you do... I don't know whether you've got some sort of addiction, whether it's like drink, alcohol or whatever. Um, you feel invisible. You need to remember that tomorrow is another day. Like things, you know, things will get better. You might be in a really low place at the moment, but yeah, I feel like it's just like don't stay in, don't stay in that place. Yeah, you definitely, yeah, you definitely up and down. Like, it all comes back to you missing this particular person it's like you just want to be back there and this doesn't have to be love related as i said it could be about a parent like yeah you you're not you're not just like you know screw the world like I can't you can't just let something let something go like you can't seem to move on from okay here's an example right so say your dad dies um, and or he's moved far away whatever right but for me, I feel like it's like somebody's died. Um, and it's like you think back and, it, you know, you get up all in your head and depressed that this, you know, important person in your life has died. Um, now you feel alone. Everyone that, you know, comes into your life leaves. So you feel like 
this always happens everyone I love leaves um, all you think back all you think of every single day is how much you miss them how much you know the memories that you both had um, and I feel like it puts you in this negative place that you can't get out of you don't like you just need to know that this will pass this time maybe you need to like write a letter or send some sort of like whatever you need to do you know like send a send a like write a letter and and if you need to send it to whoever then do that if they're if they're still alive but if you know maybe burn it return it to the earth put all your emotions into a letter that maybe things you never got to say before they died or um yeah you need to remember that yeah you something might not have worked out or you know you feel like you failed in life but it's like it's not the end it's only the beginning you need to actually kind of try to look at the more the positives because as i said you're so in the negative like you're not standing up for yourself you're worrying a lot um you kind of need to breathe like yeah in the end you feel like you're just you're not okay um and it comes back to, yeah, just thinking about being in that victim mentality, even when it comes to losing somebody. Um, you know, you can change, though, even the people that you're hanging out with, you know. Um, do you drink or whatever addiction you have do you do that because you miss this person like maybe you just need to remember you're lucky to be alive and you may not feel that way because you miss somebody but like I don't think that person would want you you dead as well you know what I mean like you'll get there one day you don't need to rush it definitely in a place of heartbreak oh, I'll put that up here There's definitely some really shit energy even in the in the tarot but let's see what else we can get and then we'll go through them
Okay. Oh, Ten of Swords, that's terrific. Okay, so as I said, you definitely have a bit going on. So, <clears throat> you've got the first two cards. You've got Two of Swords and the Moon in Reverse. So, <laughs> the card even says, I am Zen, so fuck off. And he's got his fingers, like, shoved up, like, um, okay. So, I love this deck. <clears throat> you're trying to avoid making a decision, but you've got a decision, you know, maybe you're conflicted, you've got a lot of feelings, um, you feel like you've got all the facts you need with something. But you have a lot of feelings that you need to deal with, that you're not dealing with. Um, you repress a lot. And I feel like with the two of swords, it's more about you having blocked feelings. Um, I don't know if some of you have thought about, as I said, joining this relative that's passed and I really hope not. Like I've been through that with my, in my family and it, it's a really horrible thing for anyone or any family to go through as well. And to be in that place where you feel like that's your option, um, maybe reach out and talk to somebody. But yeah, you're repressing like a lot. You can only repress for so long before it goes over something that might not be really anything, but it turns into such a big issue. It's like just another thing that, you know, <clears throat> But you've got the Seven of Swords and the Page of Pentacles in reverse. As I said, you're with the page, like you not. You haven't learnt from things that, you know, maybe haven't been so great for you. I feel like you've had a lot of, you feel like all you get is bad luck. But I also feel like you're not making any progress to change anything either. It's not like you try to make things better. You just rather go to bed and sleep or go out and drink and do whatever. You know what I mean? Like try to numb the feelings that you have. And I feel like you've also... I just heard I just heard you see people as disposable like you use them for you know a short period until you want another distraction because I feel like I don't know if these people they see what you're like and how negative and down you've become but I feel like this person like 
like somebody could have stolen so i feel like maybe you've even like been in such a place where you've stolen from people or you have betrayed people you were dishonest with them you were doing sneaky shit like whatever this is you could have been seeing i feel like multiple people um You were taking risks as well that because you just have that attitude of I don't care. Like you feel numb. You want to be numb because otherwise you're in this place of thinking about missing the person that you're missing. Then you have the Queen of Pentacles and the Star. Um, interesting star card. <laughs> I feel like you need to do some healing. Um, You know, do do things to make yourself sort of more hopeful and more optimistic and more out of the negative headspace. I feel like there's somebody that somebody that nurtures you. Like, they do things for you, they look after you, they care for you. They could be your mum for some people. Um, yeah, somebody very generous and reliable and loyal, intelligent, nurturing, supportive. Um... Maybe you need to reach out to them, somebody who is nurturing and somebody who's also not in a negative headspace. Like maybe you need to reach out and say, like, I need help. Like, I can't, I can't do this negative, you know, place where you're thinking of joining your, your dead loved one. Let's, yeah. That's not good. Um, it's also, the star is also there to remind you, though, that you need to, like, it's like wish upon a star, right? You can... You can work on manifesting what you want in your life, but I feel like, I mean, it all comes back to you needing to take that first step though, because, you know, you need to have hope again in your life. You need to have happiness in your life. And the way it's going at the moment is it's the complete opposite of that. So you've got the Four of Cups. And then you've got the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Let's start with the Four of Cups. I mean, I feel like this is you. Like, you're there with all your bottles of drink. You know, you've been in a place, as I said, where you numb your, you numb your feelings with whatever you can you can get I feel like you 
you need to become more independent though like work on your self-worth like maybe you're not feeling like you're worth a lot or feeling like people that have been in your life the reason they're disposable possibly is that you feel like you're not good enough for them you're not worthy to have love you're afraid also that you're going to lose them because everybody leaves um and it's also doing healing like there needs to be some healing here rather than doing the the drink and the whatever else addictions you have it's like you need to kind of like work will help you get out of your head you know if you could be independent pay all your bills not have to rely on other people um you know not live your life partying and drinking and trying to numb your pain i mean i don't know what age you are but at some point that has to change like you know we all drink and be stupid when we're young but at some point you know you have to grow up and i feel like though this this also it may not be about growing up it may just be well you've got some major depression that you need to go and talk to someone about and stop trying to repress it and pretend like everything's okay while you're numbing your pain the empress and the nine of cups this is <laughs> normally the empress is like the divine feminine um and it's like telling me that you can get your your person like your wish fulfillment but something needs to change and maybe you or maybe you had this person maybe you feel like you had this nurturing um person that maybe you thought about having kids with or did have kids with um that made you feel happy um this is somebody that's um, yeah this is somebody that you're um, more intimate with <laughs> uh okay I won't point out what that sort of means but it's like it's somebody that you're intimate with and this could have been somebody that you saw as wish fulfillment but I feel like yeah there it ended with heartbreak with the three of swords And I feel like that's because whatever you're, however you're dealing, I don't feel like you first of all love yourself or feel like you're worthy one or the other or both, but also feel like you need to look after you. Things need to change. You need to go and get help. You need to go and see a doctor and get some antidepressants or go and talk to somebody or reach out to a loved one or somebody you know you can trust you know get away from this bad company that you you know you're hanging around just because you don't want to be alone in the end you've got a lot going on and but you're not seeing how lucky you are you're just focused on the negative um like do you have somewhere to live do you have food you know um can you afford to buy things you know like you have family friends like surely they're not all bad and if they are then maybe you need to get rid of all of them and, and start again go and make some friends that are better um maybe meet somebody but this time you know once you've sorted yourself out don't do it in the meantime 
go and sort out things in your life. Now, you have the Page of Pentacles in reverse here, but you've also got the Page of Pentacles here as well. Um, um, with the Page of Pentacles, I feel like you can manifest what you want i feel like maybe you need to remember how i said about writing a letter like that's what i'm focused on in this in this picture um yeah also <laughs> Some of the way, some of you, I mean, not everyone, and this is very, this is a very specific thing, but somebody might be also dabbling in like um, black magic, I want to say, something like that, something that's not so like dark magic. It's, it's, yeah, not so good. Um, that's clearly not for everyone. But you can manifest what you want. But at the moment, I feel like it's it's happening. But as I said, it's happening very slowly. Um, I feel like though you're you're somebody who likes attention of other people. Um, you know, like if you if you know, OnlyFans is a prime example. Um, Instagram, you know, it's like you'd be one of those people. You you feel like you need to get self worth because other people are like, you know, paying you some sort of attention. Um, That could have also been a reason why you lost the person as well. Maybe because some of you might have been doing like OnlyFans when you're in a relationship and maybe doing things inappropriately or messaging other people. Um, but yeah, I feel like you really like attention from the opposite sex or from the same sex, whatever. You, you, you like it from other people, I should have said. Um, that doesn't determine, and it shouldn't determine, your self-worth, though. You shouldn't have to feel like you need to go and get, like, be that kind of person that needs, you know, likes or whatever from other people just to feel like you're worth something i feel like you might reach out to somebody um And for me, the feeling that I'm getting, it's, you know that this person has high standards. You know that they, you know that they only want truth. You know, like, yeah. There's some things you need to say to somebody, I think. Uh, 
and this is somebody that it looks like you were committed to um, and that ended you've got the six of cups as well so this is you know there's definite memories um about something where there was a painful ending like i said that keeps coming up um i also feel like it's memories it could be somebody that was from the past like father you know family but for others it could also be somebody that you lost in the past that you saw as your empress doesn't have to be female it's not about the the sex of the person it's about just the energy of the person you might have felt like you lost this person and as i said i feel like there needs to be some sort of truth and communication to them um but come in with truth because they won't be interested otherwise um You felt, um, you felt like you were stuck in this situation. You feel like you had limited options. You were indecisive, definitely indecisive. I don't feel like you wanted to walk away from this person. Um, but at the same time, I feel like it came back to your lack of confidence um your ego um maybe you neglected to put this person first i feel like you self-sabotaged a situation and you could have felt stuck like you had no other options but that was your that was on you it wasn't actually reality like you felt like there were chains around your neck and around your body, but the reality is you put yourself there. It's not on anyone else. You know, there was like, You felt like there were too many obstacles. But as I said, I feel like it comes back to um, Yeah. I feel I, I feel like that's part of the reason you felt like you had no no choice but you should have you should have like chosen that person you should have looked after them had their back you know um you didn't really see any hope in this situation so you withdrew and even you know on the bottom of here it said stand up for yourself and look it's in reverse because you didn't stand up for yourself and we had that somewhere else as well um, You would rather have put your head in the sand than face the, the issue head on where you stood up for yourself and what you wanted. Um, so, yeah, anyway, that's what's going on at the moment. That's, yeah, that's what's come out. So um, maybe reach out and get some help from somebody that you trust um that's really the message 
Um, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you with the next read. Okay, bye.